Betelgeuse is a massive red supergiant star located in the Orion constellation. It's one of the largest and most luminous stars visible to the naked eye from Earth. If this gigantic star were placed at the location of our Sun, its outer surface would stretch all the way to Jupiter's orbit. That means it would completely engulf Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars, swallowing them in its fiery embrace. This kind of size is almost impossible to comprehend from our small planet. We live on a tiny blue dot, and yet there are objects like Betelgeuse, so vast and powerful, that they challenge our sense of scale. Astronomers have been observing it for centuries, but today, their attention is more focused than ever because Betelgeuse is nearing the final stage of its stellar life. The star is currently in the red supergiant phase, which is one of the last stages in the life of a massive star. For millions of years, Betelgeuse has burned hydrogen into helium using thermonuclear fusion, a process that generates unimaginable energy. But now, its hydrogen fuel is almost exhausted, and gravity has begun to take over. As a result, the star is swelling outward. Scientists say this phase is like a cosmic balancing act. If anything tips the balance, a slight change in pressure or temperature, it could lead to a catastrophic collapse. According to Dr. Andrea Dupree from the Harvard Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics, we are watching a star in the final throes of its life. It's both terrifying and awe-inspiring. Betelgeuse is estimated to be about 764 times the size of our Sun, which itself is already incredibly massive. When visualized, this means Betelgeuse could easily cover the inner planets and reach into the outer solar system. This dramatic expansion is what makes red supergiants so intriguing to study. Interestingly, Betelgeuse didn't always look like this. It began its life as a blue giant, burning extremely hot and bright. Over time, it cooled down and expanded, evolving into the red supergiant we see today. Inside, the fusion of heavier elements continues, producing the energy that fuels its eerie red glow. What makes Betelgeuse particularly fascinating is its unpredictable behavior. Unlike many other stars, its brightness fluctuates without warning. Sometimes it appears bright in the sky, and other times it dims dramatically, leaving scientists puzzled. These variations have been recorded for decades, but a particularly strange event happened recently. In late 2019, Betelgeuse dimmed more than ever before, shocking astronomers around the world. By February 2020, its brightness had dropped to the lowest level in recorded history. This strange behavior was dubbed the Great Dimming. It triggered a global wave of curiosity and concern. Was Betelgeuse about to explode? At first, some thought the star was dying and preparing to go supernova, which would be one of the most incredible celestial events observable from Earth. Others speculated it was caused by a cloud of cosmic dust partially blocking the star's light. Scientists from NASA, including Dr. Emily Levesque, suggested that a huge convective cell from the star's surface may have ejected gas that cooled and formed a dust cloud, dimming the light temporarily. While the mystery wasn't fully solved, what was clear is that something unusual happened. The dimming was far more severe and longer lasting than previous fluctuations, and this has led astronomers to believe that Betelgeuse is getting closer to its explosive end. If and when Betelgeuse goes supernova, it will release an amount of energy comparable to what the sun releases in its entire lifetime, but in just a few seconds. The explosion would be so powerful that it would light up the night sky brighter than the full moon, and this brightness could last for weeks or even months. People around the world would be able to see it without a telescope. But the real scientific value lies in what's hidden beneath the light. When a supernova happens, it emits neutrinos, tiny particles that rarely interact with matter. These neutrinos can give scientists a rare glimpse into the core of the star, allowing them to study what happens in the final seconds of stellar life. According to Dr. Kate Scholberg of Duke University, Detecting neutrinos from a nearby supernova would be like watching the star die from the inside out. Along with neutrinos, the supernova would release cosmic rays and heavy elements into space. These include iron, nickel, and even gold, elements that are crucial to the formation of new stars, planets, and eventually, life. So, in a way, the death of Betelgeuse would be a cosmic rebirth, contributing to the galaxy's evolution. It's fascinating to realize that everything on Earth, from the iron in our blood to the gold in our jewelry, 
was once formed in the heart of a star like Betelgeuse. Carl Sagan famously said, we are made of star stuff, and this is what he meant. Despite the suspense, there's no way to predict exactly when Betelgeuse will explode. It could happen in the next few decades, or it might take thousands of years. Until then, astronomers continue to watch it closely using advanced telescopes and observatories around the world, including NASA's Hubble Space Telescope and the Alma Array in Chile. Betelgeuse remains a celestial mystery, glowing red in Orion's shoulder and reminding us how small we are in this enormous universe. Its light has inspired poets, scientists, and dreamers alike. Every night, it looks down on us, carrying within it the secrets of ancient nuclear processes and the promise of a spectacular final act. Another discovery that adds to its enigma is the detection of complex molecules in its outer atmosphere. These molecules are part of the star's stellar wind, which drifts off into space, creating a cloudy veil around it. Some astronomers believe that these winds may have shaped the great dimming, and more observations are underway to confirm this. There's even more to learn about Betelgeuse. Some recent research using the James Webb Space Telescope suggests the presence of shock waves traveling through the star's atmosphere. These waves could be caused by internal instabilities, like sudden fusion shifts or core contractions, which push massive amounts of energy outward. Astrophysicist Dr. Miguel Montarges, who led the team studying Betelgeuse during the Great Dimming, said, we've never seen a star behave quite like this. It's like Betelgeuse is trying to tell us something, and we need to keep listening. The study of stars like Betelgeuse also helps us understand our own sun's future. Its sudden dimming might have once been seen as a message from the gods.